Greetings and salvations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, I have a review on a custom mashup Baby Yoda doll from Stella Mortem Doll Co. to share with you. So stay tuned. And if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. I hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, I'm really excited to share this little mashup doll with you today. I got it from Stella Mortem Doll Co. on Etsy, and I've been kind of following their shop for a while because, yeah, what they come up with is pretty cool. There was another one that I've had my eye on for a while, but the one I got today when I saw it I was just like okay that is one of the cutest things I've ever seen and I really really want it but I kept putting it off and putting it off and she was still available and I was finally like yep that's it that doll's mine so Elizabeth from Stella Mortem Doll Co packed her up oh so nicely and shipped her all the way across the country to me and I will just start with her packaging is awesome guys she puts bubble wrap inside the box and bubble wrap on the ears to protect the paint and yeah okay without further ado let me introduce you to my new little beauty guys meet daffodil how gorgeous is she guys so yeah she has a white paint white hands with purple nails and a cute little bracelet there which will all make sense in a minute she wears a purple t-shirt and a little feathered bottom do you know where I'm going with this, guys? <laughs> and look at the cutest, most adorable socks. They are so, so precious. And one of the things that stood out with her was the red lips. Because, yeah, the red lips. I have no clue why I was attracted to the red lips on this doll. Hmm, I wonder. But, yeah, look at her pretty little face. But, guys, here's what makes her so special and makes her daffodil. You ready? She's got a little duck face. How adorable is that, guys? So yes, Daffodil is a mashup. She is Disney and Mandalorian inspired. Of course, she is a Grogu doll who actually looks like Daisy Duck. Yes, how awesome is that? And she came with the name Daffodil, and I had the option to change it, but nope, she's going to be Daffodil forever because that name just fits her perfectly. The attention to detail on the shop's dolls, guys, it just blows my mind. She even has a little bracelet like Daisy wears. This one says baby. Daisy just wears a plain bracelet, but super cute. Same color outfit and her little ducky bottom. This is the cutest thing ever, guys. Look at those feathers. Come on and let me see you shake your tail feather. <laughs> so cute. And her eyes have been changed. They are a beautiful blue color. In the description of the doll on the website, the color of the eyes is called Solstice. I love it. They name all their eye colors, which is just totally rad. And yeah, she's just really sweet and adorable. Now, this isn't the only type of mashup that they do. Let me show you a couple others real quick, and then I'll come back and give you a little bit more detail about her. Now, their most popular doll is this one. Her name is Wendy, and yes, she looks like Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. She is super duper adorable, and she's the one I have my eye on, so hopefully I will be able to get one in the near future. And they just had up, and this one sold, but guys, look at this. From Saul. I love it. It's just, ah, so different and so incredible. And of course, they have a few Disney princesses. Cindy is my favorite, so let me show you her. And Belle is gorgeous too, so take a look at her. So yeah, that's just a few of the dolls that are offered on Stella Mortem Doll Co's Etsy page. And Daffodil was kind of one of a kind and beautiful. I love Donald and Daisy Duck. I'm even kind of Donald inspired to go with her today. What do you think, guys? Do I make a nice Donald to go with my daffodil? <laughs> I quack myself up, guys. Oh, yes. Bad dad jokes all around today, but that's okay. We're here to have fun, and what more fun can you have 
than with a cute little mashup doll. Stella Mortem Doll Co.'s dolls are airbrush painted with Createx paint and it's got a great coverage all the way around. Look at her little purple eyeshadow. She is just so super cute. Oh, I can't stand it. I love you, little girl. And just to give you a little background on the company, they are a family business and the family does take part in bringing all of these awesome little mashups to life. They are Disney and Star Wars fans, so they wanted to create a company that kind of had the Disney customer service experience. And guys, they have. Daffodil didn't come just like by herself all wrapped up in the box. She actually came with some extra stuff. First really fun is she comes with an adoption certificate and Stella Mortem Doll Co. treats all of their little babies like an adoption. So you get this really cool birth certificate that you can fill out. I'm going to leave her name Daffodil because I think that is awesome. And I'm actually going to get the exact day and year from Stella Mortem Dalco of when she was made. So that is going to be her actual birthday, not just the day that she arrived here at my house. So I will fill this out at a later time once I have all of that information. Inside the box was also this cute little bag. Guys, I took the bow off, but it was really kind of tied up really nicely in there, but her duck bill was inside there, so I had to open the bag to get it out so I could show you guys in the video. It is on there with a magnet, and I like this one, guys. It says wild and free, so that's really cute. She looks adorable with that one. This is my first doll with a pacifier, guys, so yeah, I'm really kind of excited about that. And guys, she also comes with a magnetic frog. <laughs> How funny is that? It is so cute, and it just kind of hangs there like, yum yum, eating the frog, but we've learned that frogs are friends, not food. But yeah, he sticks on there really good. So you get all of that stuff in the bag. You get the bill that came with her, the pacifiers, and the magnetic frog. So those are awesome little additional touches to this little beauty right here. Now some of their other dolls do come with little baby bottles with what they call their galactic vending machine. They have different milks and teas available and they do sell those separately on the website. All kinds of super cute options that you can add on. They also have a little cute chef hat and apron and that comes with a little spatula or whisk. They have different materials available for that one. Some are sold out right now but guys check that out because that's a really cute outfit for your little girl Baby Yoda doll chef. They're super adorable. I don't know if they make them in a boy pattern, but you can always message them on their Etsy shop, and she's very, very customer service oriented, so yeah, Elizabeth will get back to you as soon as she possibly can. But yeah, in the meantime, this little girl here, on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, She's beyond totally rad, guys. I am so in love with this little doll. Fully jointed, stuffed really well, weighted. She is just practically perfect in every way. And I'm sure I'm going to have to keep her away from Wilson because I'm sure he's going to go after your tail feathers, but we'll make sure to keep you safe. He's a really good dude. He loves baby Yodas, so maybe he'll be kind. Okay, cost-wise on her dolls, she has a little baby boy option that he's $155, but when it comes to these little mashup dolls like this, they range from about $215 to $230. Some might go a little bit above that, some might go a little bit below that, but that is the average for them. And guys, honestly, worth every single penny. The quality on this is just awesome and I love her so so much. But yeah, I mentioned I have my eye on that Wendy doll so maybe in the future I'll have one of those to review for you so stay tuned. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more awesome and totally rad videos in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little girl? We'll see you later.